we want to be able to identify whether or not two things make a buffer. Now this is only by identification, you don't have to actually solve anything, I just want you to know how to determine whether or not if I mix two substances together, if, I'm having, if I form a buffer. And if you remember, a buffer has to do with a weak acid and its conjugate base, or at least its starting and its conjugate. So now, when you're looking at that, what that means is, remember when we looked at the acid and the conjugate base, we noticed that they both had the same anions, remember? So when we're doing these, we want to find things that have like anions or like negative parts. So the Br and the Cl, that's not the same thing. So we automatically know that this is not a buffer. When I get down here to B, I look at it and I say, oh look, both of those have CHO2. So that's the same, so this does make a buffer. Again, we have a Cl and a Br, they don't look anything the same, so this is not going to be a buffer. And then here I've got KOH and NH3, and I know that this is an acid, I mean a base and a base, so I've got two bases, but they don't look the same, right? There's no O hanging out in that NH3, so this one is also not a buffer.